Right. Oh. So this would be the ten, we we ship a ten foot hose yep. with the unit. So the ten foot output hose. This is the output. Okay. This would then, in a sense, hook up to the plumbing lines that they're trying to test in a residential home. Um, so maybe a, a tank or a vessel, some type that they're just trying yeah. to um, you know push the water in to build the pressure. Yeah. And then we got to hold for X amount of hours to prove that there's no leaks in the system. Okay. So this is the output. That's then the input, whether you're going to, now what, the way we have it set up, it's like a forced, um, so you can put a garden hose to that, to, you know, for man, you know, forcing right. water in, or you can even, we have a optional hose where you can hook it up to like a five gallon bucket or a 55 gallon drum or something, a different water source to then pull from, okay? So, in a sense, so what she's gonna do now, is we're gonna, you know, we get this, get the water turned on, get it kind of flushing through. Mm -hmm. So then what she does is that, what oh, you're doing is that with, yeah, for every stroke, you're, yes. you're, you're pushing water into the system, okay? Mm -hmm. And then once you get to whatever PSI range you need to test to, yeah. then you turn the ball valve, it isolates now the pump away from the system that we're testing. So now everything oh. from this point up is the system, why we have the gauge there. Everything below it is right. isolated, it's gone. Yeah. Doesn't even oh, we don't worry about it, okay? So that's what we do. So we just make sure it holds you for. You have to wait for yeah. some time. Too. Yeah, we just yeah we just hold for about 15, 20 seconds or more. You know that's all we need to do. So this um, is but out in the field, they'll have to hold for an hour, two hours, 24 hours maybe even. You, you know, 